What's up guys, I'm bringing you more OUPL Latin I was this Femen Sun and Moon OU Apologize for the... that this is a replay again But I recorded this live And my voice didn't get recorded and It was kinda odd to like narrate over the old video so I decided to record the replay And I promise you the next game will be live again because I know some of you guys Prefer live games over replays but yeah, we see uh, Latna brings an interesting Kofagrius team with Mega Morwal and probably Scarf Kelio. And on the other side, we see like a balanced type of team with uh, defensive core with a Ferrothorn Landris probably. Lali could be Scarf or Lady could be Scarf and we get the Mega Metagross which probably has a uh, Zen Headbutt considering that there's a type of layer to power it up. So let's just get it right into the game as we see. Mega Mobile Elite vs. Metagross, and I remember this turn. Mobile goes for Fire Throwing, Metagross goes for Earthquake. And the next turn, Letna is gonna switch out here, scouting for a potential Bullet Punch, and Femin switches out, probably confirming that he doesn't have Bullet Punch on his Metagross, because Bullet Punch could out prioritize Sucker Punch. So Femin goes Lando here, I think they both go Lando. Femin goes Lando predicting the Sucker Punch and Letna goes Lando scouting for Bullet Punch. Maybe he's, maybe that, that makes me think he's Helmet Landros because he goes Lando maybe predicting the BP. And this turn I don't remember what they do, I think they, did they exchange rocks? I think Femin switches out, maybe, maybe that says he doesn't have HPIs, that confirms he doesn't have HPIs potentially on his uh, Landorus and uh, Latna gets up his rocks. I actually don't know anything about these two guys, but they're both in OUPL, but, so they have to be somewhat good, right? I mean, not necessarily, because uh, like I know many Brolic drafted most of his friends. Like, I know some of them are really good players, but maybe not every one of them. But like, it doesn't. Being in OUPL doesn't necessarily mean you are good, I guess. So he gets up the rocks as the Manaphy comes in, and the Manaphy pretty much has a free Telgo here. I was thinking when I was watching this live that this could be HP Fire Manaphy to break the uh, Pharaoh Thorn. But as you guys will see really soon, this is a really cool Manaphy set. He is gonna go for the Z-move here, and it's a uh, Z-Blizzard, and it's gonna blow the Mawal away, and uh, Sub-Zero Slammer. So if Latna really scouted for the Z-move, he scouted for Z-move for HP Fire, that was a really good play, wasting the Z-move. And now you can go to Ferrothon, because Ferrothon lifts, lifts a regular Blizzard. You guys will see now it is Blizzard, not Ice Beam. It's probably to kill Assault West Changos. It still does 62%, which is a pretty good chunk to the uh, Ferrothon. The Ferrothon will go for Power Whip here, get a good chunk on the Manaphy. And I think he goes Good Ninja, or uh, Kelio here. And I think the Manaphy misses the Blizzard, which sucks a lot for Femin. I hope I didn't butcher your name, my guy, if you're watching this. <coughs> so yeah, the Kelio is free to fire off a Secret Sword here, and... This brings him, gives him a free switch into Landorus or Kelio, uh, or Lele, I mean, my bad. As he can pretty much click, he doesn't want to click Psychic because there's a Greninja, but other than that, he's pretty much free. Okay, he still clicks Psychic, knowing Latna wouldn't go hard grand. I mean, Moomla's probably would have tweet killed the Pharaoh anyway, so... I don't know. Uh, I think this could be Spag's damage, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't run the Kulk. If it's mixed defense of Pharaoh, I guess it could be Spag's. Because, like, Psychic is resisted. I know it's Psychic turn boosted, but it's still a Ferrothorn. It's really bulky. So, this Ferrothorn is gonna get 2 hit KO'd. When I was watching this live, I was like, he could potentially go Greninja here. So, maybe Femin wants to double out. But I agree with Femin making the safe play here. Because, on the off chance that Femin wanted to double out, Latna could have taken advantage of that, stay in with his Ferrothorn, get up a spike, something like that. So, I can compl uh, completely understand why he just uh, Psychic again. He killed off the Pharaoh. Now, the Greninja gets a free switch in, basically. And Femin doesn't have switch ends for the Greninja, he basically has to sex something to Ice Beam, I think, of what is coming out here. Like, this could have HP5 or Ferrothorn, it's, we see it's low kick, so I, I didn't remember that it was low kick. And I was, like, not sure at this point if it was complete physical or mixed Greninja, but I was kind of sure that, like, at least had one special attacking move. But I wasn't sure Eevee's vice, if it was, like, max attack or mixed. I think it's, like, mixed, because max attack, I think, was, like, 80 to Ferrothorn with low kick. I have seen the Kalk once, but maybe this first one does have has a bit more speed uh, has a bit more fist death, so maybe that's why this lasts. But yeah, um, I think he's gonna go for Ice Beam on the next turn, and I don't remember what Femin did. If he just sacked his Pharaoh, if he switched, 
Yeah, he just sacked the Pharaoh. Okay, look again. It's a safe play by Let Letna. And I think he goes Ladi here. Okay, it's Landris. Okay. So this um, makes me want to believe he's Scarf Landris. Damn. You guys already see, I don't remember much. I didn't get much sleep today. And I recorded this yesterday in the evening. And I'm kind of in a rush out too, because I want to record the next games live for you. And I'm kind of scared that I will miss them. Because I'm recording this at the moment. So this is Scarf Lando, by the way, he brings this in. Because this ninja will obviously have something to hit the Landris. Uh, like Ice Beam or Hydro Pump. And I think he goes for Utah and here, making um, predicting the ninja to switch out. Predicting the Landris to come in, but it doesn't work out. The ninja stays in. And he basically doesn't have good switch ins at this point, so I don't remember if he sacks the Metagross or if he sacks the Laddie. Yeah, the Metagross is low as flip, so he sacks that off as Ice Beam. Doesn't g pick off the kill, which makes me want to believe he had to set some. It's not max special attack, obviously, because it has low kick. That's the Tweet Kyo. Um, doesn't scout for Bullet Punch there, but yeah, Bullet Punch is not common anymore in Metagross since Aphermosa got banned, which one was one of the main reasons for Metagross to run Bullet Punch in the first uh, place. So Scarf Landris comes back and clicks U-turn He picks off the Greninja or gets the momentum if Greninja switches out into a Landris. We will see if it's Helm's Landris. I don't know if you notice if you have that information yet. It's not Helmet. I don't know if it's... Probably Zemo's Cove. No, we already saw... No, it was um, Zemo's Man if he wasn't theme inside. We didn't see the Zemo on Landris side yet. Uh, yeah, I would think it's Zemo's Cove. Uh, the Landris, maybe Yachi Berry or... Um, like, the Kelly has to be Scarf, the Landers has to be Rocks, but it's not leftover, so it's like kinda. Yeah, yeah, the Landers already showed Rocks. You see, uh, Max HP Landers, because otherwise he wouldn't have left that Psychic from the top of Lele there. As, uh, EQ picks off the Lele. Lele has, like, bad defenses, so. That makes a lot of sense that it Earthquake picks it off. And the Scarf Landers is gonna go for U turn here, but Lena pretty much has this game at this point, as he has more. Like, Scarf Kelly plus Kofak should rip, wrap this up. You can go Greninja here because it's pretty much unlikely that... Like Greninja doesn't do anything versus Landorus because it doesn't have Water Shuriken the way it's played. So like Scarf Landorus revenges this anyway. So like Greninja only does something versus the Laddie. So why not send it out now? And he goes for Ice Beam and the Laddie is not Scarf. Ice, Life up Ice Beam picks off the kill. And Landorus can pick off the Greninja but then Kofagoras can uh, just win the game or Kelly or whatever. I think Latna decides to finish off the game with, after he sacks his Greninja, finish off the game with his Kofagogus. Because it's always nice to uh, end it up with a Z-move. Never ending Nightmare in the cut. And yeah, we out here, bop. Landris gets blown away. I assume this was Trick Room Nasty Plot, never ending Nightmare. And then HP fighting or... Um, I forgot what, other, what else HP fighting. What, what is another option on this? I will whisper is another option. So yeah, this was a quick game. I'll show you guys the score real quick. And so yeah, we are here in the series between uh, the Twin Leaf Thunder and the Tops on uh, Noctiles. Ambo 1 versus Genesis in uh, Aorus. It says XY, I don't know why it says XY, but it was Aorus. Um, it was like Clefable Wars and there was like a bit of hacks. I think Genesis uh, was calm minding. I had like a lot of comments up with his Clefable and he got fully paralyzed, which was... Uh, kind of game changing as the tornadoes from Ember was able to tweet Gyo the Clefable with Iron, Iron Tail, if I recall correctly. So, like, I missed that game live, and I don't think it's worth to upload the replay. Because, like, I'm trying to try to focus on the SMOU games, and yeah, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to bring you the guys the next games live again. Yeah, as you see here, Latna won for his team, the Twin Leaf uh, Thunders, which is Blunder's team, if I recall correctly, and. Yeah, this is OUPL week Tuesday tuned for. I know on Sunday my man's easy is playing with Steve Angelo. Ricardo probably bu was Bush to should be on Sunday. Uh, what else? What else? Eternal Spirit is supposed to play till 6 today, so I'm waiting for that game, but I'm not sure if it will happen soon. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more content I'm gonna be having. Like, my man BTB guest. I will have him have some do some guest uploads for me. I don't know why I just push up my outro. But yeah, he will be covering his circle joke run for you guys. So if you're into that, stay tuned for that. That will be coming maybe every few days when I when I don't have a video for that day. I will put out some some BTB. Um, yeah, his first game was was a scary. You guys can stay tuned for that. I don't know why I'm. 
saying it like that. I don't really have a proper outro. Um, let me see smoke draws real quick. Uh, any two matches soon. I know it's, uh, OST, not OST. OST finals are t is tomorrow. Smoke draws is in. Uh, is in one hour and ten minutes, which is RS this week, so not that interesting. But my man Padlop is trying to qualify for Smoke Tours playoffs, so I guess I'm gonna support him and look his games, watch his games. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you still enjoy, even the replay is kind of eh. And I completely forget, forget, forgot what was going on in the game. But yeah, we out here. We out here. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Yeah, still kind of. Oh yeah, also looking forward to Poker TCG Gamer vs Lighthouses. Whew. Don't know when they're playing, actually I'm gonna try to find out. Peace out my guys, more content is gonna be coming. I got a lot of ideas, I'm gonna be doing something with Dennis if he has time next week. And my man T might do a guest live, I will do a live with him because he likes to play HO and HO is always fun to watch. So, searching for that and I'm out finally, good lord.